Welcome back to The Late Show. My first guest tonight is an actor you know from Martha Marcy, Mae Marlene, Ingrid Goes West, and WandaVision. She now stars in Love and Death. Well, I've been thinking about you a lot, and it's, it's really been bothering me, and I'm not sure whether I, I want you to do anything about it or not. I'm very attracted to you. I, I'm just tired of thinking about it, so I wanted to tell you that. Oh. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Elizabeth Olsen. Nice dome. Really? It's really lovely to have you back. I don't know whether I waxed eloquently enough the last time you were here about what a fan I am of your talent and your performances, but also the last time you were here, we hadn't seen WandaVision yet. No, it's and, a long time and, ago. And what an, what an extraordinary show that was. I know you've done a lot of Marvel stuff, and there have been a lot of these Marvel shows, yeah. but that was the one that really broke form in a very interesting way, and it has such a, a, a beautiful and satisfying and heartbreaking emotional journey for your character and, yeah. of course, for Vision as well. Did you know when you were making it that you were part of something um, sort of genre-breaking? Um, I th We just felt like Paul kept calling us like the forgotten um, cousin to the Marvel Universe. He just felt like we were some annoying cousin that people just like threw in the corner. <laughs> and we had like, I think Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan were traveling all over the world and like blowing things up. And Paul and I were just like doing sitcom <laughs> acting in a corner. Um, and obviously our amazing cast and crew. But um, we, we loved what we were doing. We had so much fun doing it, but we were, we really felt like it was either gonna it might it might potentially ruin us all. <laughs> but it, I think that's the stuff that feels the most fun to make, is when you feel like you could fail at any second. Well, the superpower of that show to me was your ability to approach grief in a way yeah. that was beautiful and and heroic in some ways. Yeah, the writing was really beautiful, and and I think it touched on. Um, on the, the way we grieve touched on so many levels beyond it just being an emotional journey, but then it became this huge set piece. It was literally part of the fabric of all of our sets. So I think it, it was written really beautifully and directed beautifully. The last time you were here, um, you had just uh, done some of your first real Avengers stunts. Oh, right. And you, you, said, you, you said that when you did the wire stunts, when you got pulled up, it was a problem. They had to do too many takes because you couldn't stop laughing when they would hoist you up on the wire. Yes, yes. Well, Have... because your stomach leaves you. It's like, I guess, the joy people get on roller coasters, which I don't get, but people love that feeling. Yes. And Have yeah. you recovered? I mean, have uh, you've done three Marvel movies since then. I've done so many Marvel movies. <laughs> yes, exactly. We know of three. Yeah. We know of three yes, movies yes, yes, you've I, done. Yeah, I think uh, so. Did you, have you gotten better at it? Have you gotten better at the wire work? Have you recovered from your, your giddiness? Uh, I've definitely recovered from my giddiness. Sometimes I'm just like, okay, how many more of these do you, do you want? I can do this all day kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, but sometimes I get a little freaked out. There is one in Doctor Strange, the multiverse of madness, where I had to be dropped from 30 feet up and, and land. And they wanted to drop me pretty quickly so that it looked like it had an impact, but I kept landing like, um, like Peter Pan, like kind of like fencing, and it and they and I was like, there's, I was like, just use the double. This is so ridiculous. Like there's a double for a reason. This is like face for place. They do it all the time, and they used it. And in the movie, I'm they landing. used you. Yeah, and I'm and I look like Peter Pan. <laughs> like, I look like I'm fencing. It's ridiculous. And we've had so much technology grow through these movies, and they just chose to 
really use me for every stunt in that movie, and I didn't understand. You did every stunt? I didn't do all of them, but I did most of them, which is a waste of everyone's time because a stunt double does it so much better. Yeah, seriously. But now I would, yeah. I, do you remember the ending of Witches of Eastwick with Jack Nicholson covered in feathers? Yeah, yeah. So I was just waiting for that moment. I was wet, I was covered in oil, I was covered in blood constantly. And I was like, at what point are we just gonna blow feathers on me? Cause this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> is it challenging to uh, have those emotional moments when we're, the person you're talking to is a face covered with little uh, white dots? Yeah, so sure. the CGI can track them. Or purple or covered in glitter. That's Paul Bettany all the time. It's just purple and covered in glitter, glitter why, with dots on Why his glitter? Face. Gl vision doesn't glitter. He does. It's I don't know why. He, his last airbrush layer yes. on his face is glitter. That's just for Paul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just, it really he just is. wants to feel pretty. <laughs> I a agree with that. A man can feel pretty too. <laughs> we have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Elizabeth Olsen, everybody. Stick around.